What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I went to Target and they uh, had like some of these little like three packs and one foil card things like we used to open up in the past. So this is like a newer one with some older packs in it. So I had to pick up some of those. And then also too, they had some of these legendary packs, which seeing Invasion of Chaos actually on the shelf again, normal price. It's not like those that you see at Walmart, they're like $8 and you get some random cards. No, this is actually like a $4 pack and it was up on the shelves was really cool. I mean, that had a lot of nostalgic to it as well. And I think they're from the Legendary Collection, but still, I mean, just seeing that out there was really cool. So I thought I'd pick up some of these and uh, just do an opening video. So let's get to it. Kind of give us sort of a random pack opening in a way or something, because I don't really know exactly what to expect, especially on like those foil cards that you're getting. I remember in the past, some of those would be really good actually. So I'm hoping for the best, especially since I can't find two chaos anywhere. It's just getting bought out everywhere, so <laughs> we'll see what we can get from these. Smashing Ground, that's pretty good. And uh, Getsufuma, which I'm a Delta Hurricane. Maju 10,000 Hands, now that's really good. That might be worth more than some of the Hollows in this set, honestly. So there you go. Um, let's go ahead and move one of these. I just kind of want to see what we got. I think it's Shining Victories and Secret Forces in each of these, but I'm not 100% sure, because both those packs kind of look similar. <laughs> They're both like white packs, so. All right, so what's the foil card? It is, oh, Javelin Beetle Packed. Really? A premium pack one card. That's, that kind of does prove you can get literally anything. Huh, I wonder what else we're going to get. And then, yeah, you get two Shining Victories and Secret Forces. I did guess right. Well, let's see. Both these sets haven't really opened up a ton of, so it's cool to see them on shelves again. Cause Morning. And Lunalite Leo Dancer, as well as a Ten Mai Tai, I think. So you say the name of that one? I remember that one being an interesting name. But yeah, Shining Victories, you are guaranteed a hollow. And then, of course, Secret Forces, everything's holographic, so. We should do fairly well. I hope. <laughs> and uh, Amorphage Infection. And then Speedroid uh, Pachinko Cart. Some interesting ones. And now Secret Forces. Come on, let's get a really cool Necroz monster like Chishula or Brownak. I think it's the first, is it the first one? I don't know. And? Yeah, the, the first one is Secret Air, but we got Yosinju, comma one. Still a decent card to get. Yosinju's original one's really good still. They can, they're not fun to go up against. Armageddon Knight, that's good too. And some of the gins and all that as well. But yeah, I think the, the still the ones that are toughest to get, but they don't seem as short print as they used to be, are of course the Necroz monsters, so. We can get to the next one. Hoping to get like a really cool promo card. And. Oh, that's kind of random too. Uh, we have Phantom of Chaos. So I'm glad he used Assault Special Edition. So, wow. <laughs> Premium pack in that. That just, that really is random. I like that. At least you don't, you know, not going to get something that's like too new or, I don't know, not worth anything. Maybe we do have a chance of getting something really good then. Have uh, a more uh, a more factor pain the imaginary Drake Overlord that is really tough to say and I tend my tie. Should I put all that together in a sentence? I'm like, uh, am I saying this right? Shining victories, come on, let's get a blue eyes card. Then, well, uh, Cosmo Scared the Lion. That's kind of good too. Cosmo cards haven't really been reprinted too much. That might be worth it. And, oh, we got one of the Kaijus. There we are. Uh, Thunder King, uh, the uh, Lightning Strike Kaiju. Yeah, I think this is the one. No, I don't think there is a hollow version of this one. I think I'm thinking of Jisakiru was a hollow recently. Well, there we go. I mean, any of the Kaijus are definitely worth getting. Yeah, I guess there are a few Kaijus from this set. I hope eventually they'll all become hollows. I want all the Kaijus. It's like collector trash. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Game Seal is. Well, for Japan. Oh, then we have Yosinju uh, Masak. So yeah, another Yosinju. Abyss Dweller, though. All right, another Invasion of Chaos. Again, you are not guaranteed to hollow with Invasion of Chaos, so that's kind of the one I'm really hoping to have some good luck with. But we will see. 
And, oh, we did! We actually got a hollow! There we go, a Dark Mirror Force! That threw me off, because I was like, what is that card for a second? I don't think I've ever actually gotten Dark Mirror Force, you know, from an opening. So, <laughs> that is cool! There we go, we actually got a hollow. So, at least that gave us some good luck, too. And then Stray Lambs, of course, as well. Good, okay. I was hoping we wouldn't get just, like, all supers on, like, the bare minimum, basically. At least Invasion of Chaos has my back. Okay. <laughs> I feel much better then. I want to save the last one, though, so I can say in with Hollow. Yeah, I'll just tell you. That's that's just the plan. <laughs> but what are we getting from these? Come on. These little pack things need to help us out a little bit. Give me a cool blue eyes card or something. Come on, Shining Victories. And what's this one going to be? Have a Zero Ritual, another premium pack card. Again, kind of cool to see just because I haven't seen those in a while, but <laughs> they're definitely not hard to get or expensive either. Obviously. And then we have a uh, Priestess with Eyes of Blue. Well, it counts as a blue eyes card, but I meant above Super Rare. Give me, give me some above that, okay? <laughs> Our other cards kind of listened. A Morphage uh, Gluttony as well. I mean, technically, I got what I asked for, but, you know. <laughs> All right, what's in this one? And uh, a Morphage uh, Infection, actually a double, dang. <laughs> and a Spirit of the Fall Wind. And then Secret Forces, come on, let's get a Necroz this time. Or Ritual Beast Tamer would be good, too. And that'll work. Okay. We got Necros of Colossalus. That's still a really good one to get from this. Soul Release, Gins, and all that stuff, too. All right. So the last one of these. Let's try to get something above the bare minimum, basically. Shining Victories help me out. There we go. And um, Induce Explosion. Really? Oh, that's from the, the movie pack. Well, that's kind of cool. See, first edition. I mean, movie pack cards are kind of tough to find, especially the Ultra Rears now. That'd be awesome. It'd be awesome if you could get like a <laughs> get like a Blue Eyes alternative, right? I really doubt that would happen, but uh, <laughs> tell me out there if you guys have picked up one of these, if you've got something like really good. I'd love to hear it. Oh, is it? Yes, we actually got some that's just not a super rare. Awesome. Okay, I was hoping Shiny Victories would help me out here. We got Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, King Calamity, which is a really cool synchro monster, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take it, though, for sure. That is a really cool looking one. And even uh, Rank Up Magic, Skip Force. Guess not a blue eyes like we were hoping for, but uh, yeah, Red Dragon is pretty dang awesome, too. Right, another Shiny Victories. At least that one was good to us. Cause morning. And. Oh, that's actually pretty good. We have uh, Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon. Well, there you go. Use that with Waking the Dragon. That was, I remember when that went up in price pretty good. Um, I think they're kind of going down now, but still. Good, uh, XC Monster, good, super rare. And then Luna Light Blue Cat. I remember when there was a lot of hype for that card. And last one Secret Forces. What are we ending with? Besides our Invasion of Chaos over there. Try to get a Necroz Brownack. Oh, I ruined it. <laughs> well, uh, we did end with a good card. I forgot. Yeah, I needed to turn it, and I ruined the suspense. Oh, well. <laughs> we did get uh, Ritual Beast uh, Ulti uh, Apelio. I think I say that. It's been a while since I said that name. But I'll take that, too. That is better than, like, another Yosinju or something. Because I have plenty of the Yosinjus. <laughs> so, again, the Ritual Beast, since they got uh, Ulti Kana Falcon and all that stuff, too. Uh, yeah. It's pretty good to get any of them now. And then, Invasion of Chaos. All right. Last pack. Can we end with a hollow? Let's see. Help me out here. Heart of the cards. Hit that like button. Chaos Sorcerer. Pretty good to start with. And, ah, oh, it's not looking like it. Sasuke Scammer at number three, and yeah. <laughs> but I'll say, should be hollow, then rare. So, unfortunately, we did not have the hollow. Oh, well. I mean, uh, these packs were still really cool to open up. It was cool to see, um, actually get, like, quite a few older packs. I mean, even 
Shining Victories and Secret Forces are considered older packs now. And I would have got more of the Legendary packs, but I literally picked up all they had. So, I know I've seen, like, a Spell Ruler coming back now and a lot of stuff. Basically, I think, like, the the six different packs from Legendary Duelist are starting to appear on shelves again. So, I think that's cool, and if I happen to see more of them, I'll definitely pick them up for an opening. But, either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all that, too. And uh, check out my TCG Player link as well. If you use that link to buy anything on TCG Player, it helps out my channel as an affiliate link. Then you have to be Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Just uh, let me know what you guys think about these packs, too. Are they worth picking up? Um, in my opinion, I kind of like those three-pack things. Sometimes they're really good, but you have to kind of watch out, too. I've heard, you know, stories about how some people have found some of those that are already opened. I've had pretty good luck with them, but always be suspicious when it's a repack product. I, I will say that. So, let me know if you agree or disagree. I'm going to say I'm in the middle on them right now. Like, I think they're cool, but I can't really recommend them. But seeing the older packs again for the normal price, I feel like I can give those a little bit more recommendations. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Stay safe, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.